Welcome back to GMA, live from Times Square. Welcome back to GMA, everybody. And we have a great audience inside with us here this morning. And you know, we also have a great guest. Oh boy, she's from Star Trek, wow. Avatar, and now Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. What can she not do? Please welcome Zoe Saldana. <laughs> husband would have that intro. It'd be amazing. We, we, can make, we can arrange that. Gamora. Oh my gosh. Such a cool character. And the way you. you play her. And she's flying and she's there and all. But you're afraid of heights? Well, yeah. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're told to jump 30 feet and, he, and you have your wire and your wire has no tension and you're free falling, oh God. you're going to be afraid of heights too. Yeah. You're thinking something went wrong. You're thinking it's, I'm, it's over. You forget to speak English. <laughs> Are you supposed to have, do lines end fall with no tension? No, no. Oh. You're, just, you're just supposed I mean. to look cool while you're falling. That's it. And that's a lot to ask. That's you're supposed to look. Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I couldn't do it. I mean, it was. Two, I couldn't do more than that. Yeah. I, I was done. I'm like, I'm stunted out. Well, you, you say you forget to speak English when you're falling. Probably the, the language you're speaking cannot be aired on TV anyway. No, and, yeah. But you know, this movie has a lot, lots of action in this movie. But one thing I love about it, it's also a lot of funny humor. A lot, a lot yeah. of it's hilarious. And mm -hmm. we got a little clip of it. We're going to show oh. everybody right now. What was that story you told me about Zardu Hasselfrau? Who? He owned a magic boat. David Hasselhoff? Right. Not a magic boat, a talking car. Why did he talk again? To help him fight crime and to be supportive. As a child, you would carry his picture in your pocket and you would tell all the other children that he was your father, but that he was out of town. Shooting Knight Rider or touring with his band in Germany. I told you that when I was drunk. Why are you bringing that up now? I love that story. I hate that story. <laughs> <laughs> With, with this movie, I mean, you see a film that is just aesthetically so fantastical, and and you see a green alien, and then you see this, and you see that, and you're expecting it to be dramatic and to be super serious and just impressive, when it's comical, when these when these characters are broken and they they screw up so much, it kind of humanizes them, yeah. even though they're not they're not meant to be human. And I feel like that juxtaposition is what worked really beautifully, and it's thanks to James Gunn, I have to say. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he's a great really guy, great. good director. How do your kids like the green makeup? <laughs> um, at first, you know, I, I, it was so cute to see like their thought. Um, they looked at me and they were like, "Mama," and I was like, "Yes, it's me, it's me." Then they hear my voice, yeah. they go, so and, and their papa goes, "It's Gamora." It's like Gamora. Who? <laughs> like, oh, that's so yeah, funny. yeah, that's cool. yeah. Mama knows the whole. Oh, yeah. We're down. We're down with the whole. So you have three boys at home now. Three boys. So being on set was relaxing. Because it's four males. Four. Yeah. Wow. So being, <laughs> being on set was relaxing. I, well. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm one of those, like, I can be with my kids all day because they're, like, the most delicious little things I've ever met. And talk about aliens to me. I come from a, a family of women. So being sort of outnumbered is new, strange, <laughs> and I'm adjusting to it, but I'm accepting this this ironic challenge that the universe has sent me. Yeah. I, I, I'm getting to know men on their most primitive, like, <laughs> basic <laughs> level from their inception, yes. and I'm very, I'm deeply humbled every day. Yeah. You guys are fantastic. You, you're, you're, you're beautiful. Say it like you mean it. I mean it. Before that, I would have been like, you guys are all right. Like, I got my head was like, Mama, we want food. <laughs> every so day. Primitive. Every day he's like, no, baby, you can't have your passy. <laughs> and then the other one sees it. And then my husband comes, oh, good morning, cafe. I'm like, no, no. you've had enough coffee. <laughs> 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 oh. 
As George said, so it must have been nice to have some time on the set. And then to get into character, it took like four hours to well, make it go more up. Yeah, yeah four hours. What'd you yeah. do during all that time? I talk. I'm Latina. <laughs> I talk my team to death. And they sometimes have to put blast music so I, I can get the, 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 the message to shut up. But I talk. I'm on my phone. I catch up on emails. I cry because I do miss the boys. Aww. You know, I, I leave at 2.30 in the morning and it's very hard. Wow. So my heart really goes out to working parents because I, I, I go to work and I see that pain in fathers and I see the pain in mothers. And to rip away from your children for the amount of time this film takes, it's a long process, four hours of makeup, 16 hour days because it's a big movie, it's green screen, mm. it's technology, blah, blah, blah. So you're, you're away from your family, but we all kind of like stick together and we became a family. So I have a great deal of respect and love for, for like not just the cast and my director, but the whole crew, man, the class acts. So the one thing I really want to ask when you guys go see the movie, because you guys are going to go see the movie, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is to please just stay for those credits. And if you see a couple of those names, because it's a lot of people that worked on this movie, just send a thank you to the ether, because they sacrificed so much of their time. Our crew's fantastic. Yeah, it's so really lovely. Yeah. 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 Another, another thing you do, though, with, with your kids and your family, you have some dance parties. So we saw your character Gamora's dance moves. It's called the Green Machine. <laughs> that, that's your character's move. So Ooh, it's, nice. when, you, when you're not in character, does that resemble your your personal dance moves? Um, yes, it's come it's come to this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to get these boys to eat their vegetables. Yes, I will do that. <laughs> We, we had so much fun. Uh, we had so much fun yesterday. Kurt Russell was on, Ooh, and oh the day before Chris was on. Can you just give us a little, one quick glimpse into what it was like to work with the two? They are both delicious, as, as oh, to use your expression. Oh, Brad's delicious. You guys all know that. He should have his morning show, his night show. He should just be on air all the time. He's a, a, just a naturally funny person, and you enjoy spending time with him. He's good-hearted. He has not changed, and he has all the qualities that a superstar needs to have. Oh. I have to say it I, honestly. Kurt Russell, <laughs> yes. the best head of hair <laughs> on a man. Yesterday. And we were all we were always so cool, like talking to him, like, yeah, yeah, it's Kurt Russell. Like, and then he would turn around to get coffee, and you're like, it's Kurt Russell. Yeah, and the Sylvester Stallone is in the movie, so we're with Tango and Cash. Like, it was just like a movie. And as you, as you said, everybody's going to go out and see this movie. It is Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. It hits theaters on Friday. Make sure you go do that.